Hey, it's Howard from Callenbred, and as promised, we're back for the SFT dive down video. And I just played a little shout out to Portland Music Old School. You can identify the song in the comments below. But if you noticed, um, I got the SFT set to kind of a moderate setting, and in the beginning, I didn't touch the guitar or the pedal, I just played softer and got that clearer sound. And then when I drive into it harder. So that's an example of the dynamics of the SFT. But now we're gonna dive down and talk about the knobs and I'm gonna switch guitars and put on something a little more comfortable for you. So let's get right to it. Hello, I'm back and I got my Flying V on right now, something more comfortable. And I've got some Lawler Imperial PAF style pickups there. And uh, here's the pedal board we got going today. I got the SFT in the middle and we've got some things that can boost it and some things that can add some nice um, reverb and delay afterwards. And so we'll go over that later. But first, uh, let's just go through the SFT and the various controls and the mode switch and see what they do. So first, here's the guitar with nothing on. Let's go and hit the SFT in stones mode here, set thusly. So there's a nice ripping sound that's nice and thick. That's the basic SFT tone there with um, humbuckers. So nice and thick with a nice rip on top. Uh, let's start off with the tone, uh, excuse me, the gain control here. And we're gonna turn it down and show you the clean sounds of the SFT. I'm gonna add a little tells and reverb here to spice things up just a bit. So that's a nice clean boost now, and actually, you can get a pretty hefty boost even with the gain at minimum. Turn the gain up a little bit. So you can hear it starting to crunch out a little bit with the humbuckers, but I'm gonna switch to a Telecaster real quick now and show you the clean range with lower output pickups because they can get really clean with um, vintage Fender type things. So let's switch to that real quick. Okay, I'm back here with my Tele because I wanted to show you the clean range of the SFT with a Fender type guitar. So that's no pedal. Let's go ahead and hit the SFT now and I've got the gain at minimum. So now I can... So basically I got a clean EQ type boost now. And it can boost. To where it actually starts crunching the amp out. Um, but you get it right over Unity and you just kind of add that, that feel that the SFT gets you in that woody uh, tone on the lower string. And of course, then we can goose the gain up a little bit. And get some of that stonesy crunch in. So, that's Telecaster the Clean, and let's go right back to the Flying V and continue our guided tour of the new SFT. Okay, so back with the Flying V, and now let's turn the gain up. We're still in Stones mode, and uh, let's just turn that gain up so you can hear what it does. So there's kind of the sweet spot, six or seven on the dial. It's just like a real amp. Starts off clear and bright. Starts crunching, and right about here it hits its nice balance of saturation and crunch. But let's go ahead and turn it up more. So it's full up in stones mode. It's not over the top still. It's just a nice, thick, gooey crunch with a rip on top. And it's still great for stone songs. So, uh, for example, let's go ahead and do something like this. Thank you. 
So that muted picking uh, works really well on this. It's kind of nice and woody and chunky until I hit those chords and then it rips out. Or I can just kind of play more wide open like this. So uh, turned up like this is very sweet for the leads. So now let's talk, I haven't really touched the EQs too much uh, until now. Treble and bass, and uh, it's commonly referred to as a Bax Andal rig, um, and it's a very common uh, circuit in almost every Ampeg amp that you'll run into. Um, it's also known as James circuit, but uh, that's another discussion. So the, the hallmark of the Bax Andal type circuit is at noon, things are flat. So what you hear is a little bit of thickening in the mid-range, the lower mid-range, uh, when I turn it on with things flat, because the pedal is voiced to be ampeg, and so it's going to always have that inherent voice. Just a little thick in the lower mid-range, just nice and chunky. Um, so the treble control cuts when you turn down from noon and boosts when you turn it up. So let's just hear that real quick. So like between noon and two is a sweet spot for me where it just allows enough of that upper mid-range to come through and really kind of give you a nice bite. You can turn all the way up and it still, still works pretty well. Um, bass control, tightens it up as you turn it down. But it leaves that woody knock on the low strings. Turn it up. So now it's really hefty in the bottom end, nice and thick. You can almost do bass lines on the guitar with it. And then all the way up, it's pretty much bass city. And we're going to go and show that more in a second when I hit the stoner button. So, uh, in essence, that is the stones mode there. Um, you can really dial in your sound with the treble and bass controls, and uh, I can show you my 9 o'clock uh, noon trick here. So, one thing I do is with the EQs, uh, if I have the treble set like at noon, then I'll run the bass at 9 o'clock. So, there's a 3 o'clock difference. Uh, if I want to turn a little more of a treble, what I do is I follow it with the bass, so it's still about three o'clock difference. And that allows you to keep a, a nice balanced sound and just kind of move where that mid-range bump is. So um, you don't have to do that, but that's something that I like to do. Three o'clock difference between the two. All right, you've been waiting for this moment. Let's go and hit that stones button and go into stoner mode. So once again, here's that. Okay, here we go. So a lot more crunch, a lot more just rip. So I turned the gain down low in stoner mode. There's just a little bit of crunch. Um, it doesn't clean up like the other mode does. And it just... If you're wanting more of an aggressive sound out of the pedal, then I would go into stoner mode, but you don't want it to be too over the top. Then go into stoner mode and then turn the gain down low and you get a nice rip.
Now I'm going to show you one of my favorite settings on stoner mode, and one of the modes that I worked into balance when I was dialing in the circuit, which is what I call fuzz mode. I'm going to flip to the neck pickup here in the guitar. I'm going to turn the bass all the way up, the gain all the way up, and the treble off. And then I'll do something more bright and ripping. I'll turn the bass down, the treble up, and... Uh... So it got a good sound, you can almost play metal with it. Huge crunch and huge uh, tight low end. They can get not tight if you just turn the bass up. Then you get the sludge. Stones mode. So it's like two pedals in one, basically, and um, it was quite an endeavor trying to dial in this pedal, do all this stuff. But I'm pretty happy the way it came out. Let's go to stones mode again here. And now let's, uh, I got these other pedals here, so. Um, if you're running this on a pedal board, it's, our, it's one of our foundation overdrives. In fact, it's probably our widest ranging gain-wise and uh, tonally of any of the foundation pedals yet. And it works great for stacking boosters and fuzzes and overdrives into it, just like a real amp. That's the whole idea. So uh, you leave the pedal on the whole time, the foundation pedal. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to use Stones mode because uh, I want the amp sound where I can turn the guitar down. and get a clear sound. Turn it up for my, my cranked up amp sound, and now I'm gonna boost it and get even more gains. So I'm gonna hit the, uh, the Karma Suture now, and... So that really takes that well. Just melts into it. Uh, and then the other flavor I got here is the Naga Viper, and that's set more to a focus tone, more of a ripping kind of rock tone. So we've got two flavors there. You can use fuzz faces or tube skimmer type drives. They all work great in the SFT as your basic tone. And you know, you can dial in these pedals with the tone controls here a little bit if you want. So you can get a whole range of tones, a big palette. Uh, oh, I got the echo rec here too. So let's show you that. So I'm running the time based stuff after it and typically that's what you'd want to do. Put your boosters and stuff in front of it and your time based stuff after it and then you're on your own with the other stuff. You just have to try things out to see where you like it best. But this is a good kind of general thing to start with. So let's hit that echo rec. <laughs> I just turn the volume down and turn the booster off uh, for my clean tone. Mm -hmm. 
So that is kind of uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell right there. The new SFT. It's got a big range of tone and uh, it feels good to play. And uh, you got the stoner buttons. So you want to go over the top. You know, if you don't have any booster pedals, you just want one pedal to do it all. You can just hit that stoner button, and leave yourself there, or you can set it a little bit milder when stones mode and get that rootsy sound, and then boost it to get other kinds of flavors. So that's the new SFT, and uh, it's also for bass. Uh, so the next video, we're going to put on a bass and see what it does on bass guitar. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the space below the screen that you're seeing. And we'll talk to you next time. All right.